Welcome everyone to the Summer Reading Club at St. Louis County Library. In this video, we will go over using Beanstack, the online portal for the St. Louis County Library Summer Reading Club. We will discuss accessing the Summer Reading Club via Beanstack, how to register a reader under the age of 13, how to register a reader over the age of 13, adding family members, switching between readers, viewing current club points, and logging reading and activities. You can find all of the information you'll need about the Summer Reading Club on our website at slcl.org slash summer dash reading. Using your internet browser, visit the same website slcl.org slash summer dash reading and scroll down until you see the sign up button on the right. Click the sign up button and then scroll down. In the middle of the page, click Register an Individual or Family. You will then be asked if you have used Beanstack in previous summer reading clubs. If you have had an account in the past, you will want to sign in instead. To sign in, click the Sign In button in the top right corner. Then, enter in your username and password. If you have registered in the past but have forgotten your username or password, contact the library and we will help you. Otherwise, click No. Beanstack will then ask if you are registering yourself or if you are an adult registering a child. First, let's go over how you would register yourself. Select the I am registering myself option. Regardless of which option you choose, you will be given the chance to register additional family members as well. If the reader is under the age of 13, click No. For under 13 accounts, the reader will select three words from each of the drop down menus for their username. If their username is available, it will be listed beneath. Next, scroll down and fill in the required information. When finished, click Next. The reader will be awarded a badge. Click the X on the badge and then click Continue to arrive at their profile. Based on the reader's age, they will automatically be enrolled in the age appropriate reading club. To register a reader who is over the age of 13, we will go through the same steps as registering a reader under the age of 13, except in this case, we will answer yes to the are you 13 or older question. Next, fill out the following information. Email and phone number are not required, but are necessary to win the electronic raffle, as this is how you will be contacted. If the reader wishes to receive book recommendations, check the box and then click Next. Again, the reader will receive a badge and will automatically be registered for the age-appropriate reading club. Beanstack will then ask if you wish to add another person. This is useful when registering multiple people at once. Click Yes to add or No to finish. If an adult wishes to register a child, click the I am an adult registering a child option. The adult will first enter in their information and then the information of the child instead of using the drop down menus. Beanstack will then ask if more children need to be added. Click yes to add more or no to not. The adult will then be given the option to register themselves as a reader. This way of registering is also useful if there are more than one person being registered in a family. To add family members to an existing account, Click the gear or settings icon in the top right corner. Next, click add a reader. The available options will vary depending on who has been registered on the current account. For instance, in the middle, it might say, I would like to register another adult. I am an adult registering a child. I am registering myself and a few other options. Select the appropriate option and fill in the information. The reader will then be awarded a badge. To continue to add more family members, click Yes, and if not, click No. Beanstack may ask if you would like to register yourself, depending on the account. To quickly switch between readers, in the top left corner, click the name of the reader you are currently viewing. Next, select the name of the reader you wish to switch to. If there are more than a few readers on the account, Click on Change Readers instead in the same location, and then select the name of the reader you wish to switch to. To view current club points, select the reader you would like to view. 
check the middle tabs to make sure that you are in the Overview tab, and if not, click on Overview. Scroll down. You will now be able to view the current club points for this reader. You will have to switch between readers to view that reader's current club points. To log reading and activities, click the green Log Reading and Activities icon in the upper left corner. Select the reader to add to, or select all readers to log minutes on all readers at one time. You are not able to log activities for multiple readers at once, so that must be done one by one on each reader. To log reading, click Minutes, and then enter the time spent reading, and click Log. Entering the title or author is optional. Continue to log if needed, or click the back arrow in the top left corner to log more reading or activities for another reader. When you have finished, click Close. To log an activity, click the green Log Reading and Activities icon, and select the reader to add an activity to. Then, click Activities. Select the kind of activity that was attended. For instance, attend a virtual library event. For these events, simply type the name of the event and click Save. If there are multiple activities to log, type each event individually and click Save each time. You can click on View the listing of all library events to take you to the library's website to view events. To log a different type of activity, click the X in the top right corner of the Beanstack window. Then, click the Log Reading and Activities icon again, making sure to select the correct reader. Next, click Activities again. For other non-virtual library events, a seeker code may be needed, while others may only require a box to be checked. In the case of the Animal Protective Association, click the event, and then click Enter Secret Code to then enter the secret code. Type the answer in the box and click Save. The activity has now been logged. When you have finished, click the X in the upper right corner. This concludes the video. For more information, visit slcl.org, call 314-994-3300, or contact us via email or chat. Thank you for watching.